Welcome back. Okay, you know that we love our cocktails here on the broadcast. It makes us sound like total lush, <laughs> actually. But of course, when we heard about the San Antonio Cocktail Conference happening this week, we had to get in on the action. Joining me now to talk more about that and give us a taste of what they'll be doing down there in San Antonio is Andy Hack and Jason Cosmas. Am I saying your last name right? Yes, you are. Um, who You're one of the few. Who actually has his own line of, of spirits now that is fantastic. Thank you, yes. Um, actually, uh, the, the cocktail that we're going to make today is the uh, signature cocktail of the San Antonio Cocktail Conference. It is the next door daiquiri. And, and so you know that if it's a signature cocktail of the whole conference, that this is this is the thing to have. This it you is. Know how to make. And it's uh, and uh, all uh, sorry, five dollars from every cocktail that's sold during the week of San Antonio Cocktail Conference goes to uh, charity as well. Oh, that's great to know. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. And so, okay, we're going to make this fantastic margarita. What's in it? A daiquiri. Daiquiri, sorry. That's okay. Um, okay, so uh, just a little thing about daiquiris. It's funny because I, uh, I watched Kanye Brava, uh, which is a, is a three-year-old aged and filtered rum, and it's made in the, uh, in the Cuban style, the Carta Blanca style, which is the style that created daiquiris, mojitos, all those drinks. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of been lost. And uh, the, one of the men that made it uh, for... Uh, a good 35 years is now in Panama, and we distill with him. Uh, Don Pancho Fernandez, he makes Caña Brava for us in the true classic Cuban style. Don Pancho Fernandez? I know. That, that's, yeah, he sounds like he legend. knows what he's doing. <laughs> and uh, what's great about it, too, what was interesting, I should say, when I first started going out and talking about daiquiris, was uh, everyone, the first response that people would say is like, oh, I don't have a blender, which is not necessarily what a traditional daiquiri was, or they tell me they don't have strawberries. And I always found that fun. Yeah, you're like, that's, that's, true. True. that's it is true. true. So, Andy, how did this drink get chosen to be the, uh, the representative of all the drinks at the conference? Well, 86 Company is going to be a, a big part of the cocktail conference. And so putting their brand in our official cocktail was a great and easy choice to make. And uh, bars all around San Antonio are picking up this product because it's a fantastic rum. Also has a great tequila, vodka, and gin as well. So Nice work. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you do great work. We love it. So, OK, so what goes in this? OK, so. Uh, we're, we're going to take a look at a traditional daiquiri, and we're just going to add a few other elements to it. So uh, the first is going to be Kanye Bravo rum. We're going to put an ounce and three quarter. And a real daiquiri has fresh ingredients. There's yeah, none of uh, that like. Actually, right here is all you need to make a daiquiri. It's so good. Rum, lime, sugar, that's it. OK. So we're going to squeeze a little bit of lime in here. Just like that. Yep, just Very like that. It easy. couldn't be any easier. Andy, while he's doing this, how long has the conference been going on? This is going to be the third year of the conference. And uh, it's always been associated with Heart Gift as the, uh, the beneficiary of the charity. But this year, we're actually adding Child Safe as well. Uh, so that's going to be a, a dual charity going oh, on. Nice. So we're trying to spread the love all through the city and uh, trying to make a difference for everybody in the community. And those are um, charities, or charity organizations that are local to San Antonio? Well, the uh, Heart Gift is actually located in Dallas as well. They have Louisiana, Houston, and Austin. And so the San Antonio chapter of that is working with the San Antonio Cocktail Conference. Throughout nice. the past two, we've actually been able to do two, uh, I'm sorry, three heart transplants for children. It's and really amazing. I, it, my, my first year, uh, it, it, we had a presenter dinner, and uh, Chef Bohannon came out and informed us that we had just uh, given a heart transplant to this girl. And everybody, like, you know, bartenders oh. were like, oh, we're just going to go down there and have fun. It San makes Antonio. it so much more uh, just all the, all the hairs on my arm yes. just stood straight up. People were crying, you know. So, uh, and everybody that was in that room still participates, and they pulled more people into it as well. So you go, you learn, you have fun, you have good drinks, and you're doing some really good work for And you, uh, you affect it. someone's life. Yeah. Which That's is awesome. Yeah. Okay, so, so you've got your lime juice in there. Uh -huh. and, and then we're just going to do a little bit of simple syrup. And then here's where we kind of diverge just a little bit. We have just a, a little bit of dry vermouth. We're just going to put like about a quarter ounce. Vermouth gets such a bad rap over the, the whole two decades of, of uh, the martini craze. Mm -hmm. But it really is. For us, it's almost like the broth of cocktails it, or the stock. It's, there's lots of uh, herbs in there and spices. And even okay. the wine, too, it adds acidity. And did you put the rum in already? I did. The rum okay. was the first one. And so then we, here we have some grapefruit bitters. And that's how we're going to finish it off. Can I smell that? Because sure. I'm always sort of amazed at how many different types of bitters mm -hmm. there are. <sighs> well, bitters, uh, bitters are just a concentration of flavor. Uh, that's basically all they are. Mm -hmm. uh, and you use alcohol, for the most part, to pull out those flavors. And yeah. you do it in such a high concentration that it's extremely bitter and extremely complex. And it's not when you, until you mix it and it hits water 
that it starts to develop and open up where you can detect them all. There's some science to it. Oh. Let's see how your shake is. We're oh, my shake? shake yep. Oh, yeah, the shake and the smile. There we go. <laughs> got to smile. you got to love it, right? Why do it? Yeah, let's see this. And here we go. Look at this guy. Very, very nice. And let's just give it a nice little line on top. And that's very it. Nice. Did you put the sugar in there already? Oh, yeah. Well, we did a simple syrup. Ah, oh, right. Mmm. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Yum, yum. Yeah, that brings out my Latina roots, I think. <laughs> like pulling them out of me. Mmm. So good, you guys. Thank you. Okay, I guess I have to read this, huh? <laughs> you can check out the San Antonio Cocktail Conference for yourself this weekend. It starts Thursday, runs through Sunday. For more details, just head to thebroadcasttv.com. Click on today's links, and we are back with more broadcast right after this. Cheers. Let's go.